Hi, my name is Shoyan Hussein, and I'll be talking all about the dodo. What are the what is the dodo, and what are its characteristics? The dodo was a flightless bird that was three feet and three inches tall, and it lived on the island of Mauritius, east of Madagascar, in the Indian Ocean. This is what the island of Mauritius looks like over here, and comparing it to Madagascar and to Africa. And it is it is very small, and the dodo weighed 10.6 to 17.5 kilograms in the wild, and had brownish gray feathers, a gray naked head, stout yellow feet, and a black yellow green beak. The dodo was prey for most animals, and humans would eat the dodo, and pigs and some other farm animals would eat the the eggs of the creature. And it was f fearless when encountering new animals, and would sw and swiftly run away from predators. The dodo uses beak for defense, and the species produce a low number of offspring, since each fe female dodo produces an incubated one egg at a time. Once the dodo hatched out of its egg, it matured and grew quickly, and and, and so that's why the dodo was able to thrive until the humans. Uh, I hunted it, hunted it down, and the the, the creature made a goose-like sound, more like a doo-doo sound. What are the conditions that the dodo needs to survive? According to reports of Dutch and Portuguese sailors, dodos need to live in forests, and and they need to incubate and lay their eggs. Uh, in the grassy parts of the forests, and they would they would need the oceans or shorelines to catch fish using their, uh, using their beaks, and they would uh, they would need swamps and some rivers for water, and a tropical environment, and nuts, seeds, bulbs, fruits, stones, fish, and uh, or roots for food, and keep in mind that all of these food sources w w would be taken away by people. Since they inhabit, they would inhabit mm, the island of Mauritius. There were several sightings of the dodo, but there were four uh, four notable ones. The first sighting was from Dutch sailors in 1598 on the island of Mauritius, east of Madagascar, Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. The second sighting was from uh, was from. Sir Hemant Lestrange in London in 1638, who saw the dodo in a chamber that was kept by the owner, uh, 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 described it as being larger than the biggest turkey, very legged and footed, stouter and thicker, and very erect in shape. The third sighting was from uh, Francis Koch in 1651 on the island of Mauritius, who described the dodo as being bigger than a swan, having curved wings, no tongue, a large curved beak, long scaly legs with only three toes on each foot and making a cry of a goose and laying huge eggs. So the fourth sighting was, was on the island of Mauritius in 1662 from shipwrecked uh, uh, mariner Volkert Everts of the Isle, a Dutch ship uh, Arnhem who saw that as he was approaching the dodos, they had no fear in, in him. But uh, but uh, but even though the dodos' wings were small, he noticed that they were very quick when he was trying to herd and catch them. Uh, uh, once he caught them, uh, and, and he he found uh, he heard a loud sound from one of them, which attracted other dodos uh, to to try to help them uh, and, and not get caught. Uh, but uh, but they were uh, but they were soon caught too with the uh, with the other ones. What was the size of the dodo population? Scientists believe that the dodo was extinct in the 1700s, but when there was, uh, uh, but when they were alive, they had a small population since each female laid and incubated one egg at a time. Do you believe that the creature was something else, or do you, or do you believe, and do you believe that it was real? I uh, no, I don't think that dodo, uh, the dodo was something else, and I, I, I believe that the dodo was real because the. The remains of the dodo, of which were found, were similar to the sketches of dodos from many people in the 1500s to, 16, to the 1600s.
so that's it and bye